Alright, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. We're still playing the Saving Your Disastrous campaign. <coughs> this time with the campaign, The Royal Disaster. It's episode number 5 and we're nearing the state where I can safely assume that the uh, campaign is now unfucked or unstuck. We still need uh, to beat one or two more missions and then I would declare it uh, to be saved. The mission that we're now looking at is uh, the Operation Summoned Anger. We put our best team in play, including our Spark. Sky Ranger deploy. We're in the pipe. Five by five. working for the resistance installed a data tap along the advent network in this area and the data they're retrieving is critical to the aliens latest operation recon suggests the aliens are already moving to destroy the device that data is too valuable to lose so we're moving in to secure the area eliminate all hostile contacts and protect that gear okay so Hostile finally the music moving to just destroy. down a little bit. I'm always surprised how there is this, uh, how there is this um, reconfiguration of the master volume. Whenever you restart XCOM, it feels like it starts with maximum sound at the very beginning. Sorry for uh, for that. So I was going to say, this is the fifth installment. We've brought our A team here, or at least as much of our A team as we could bring. Um, if you look at our uh, group composition, we really have again one of each class, plus a Reaper as a scout, and <coughs> we got ourselves um, another Spark unit. So, looking at the protected device, it is somewhere here in low cover, and we might be best off Oak says I am to obey. by going the straightest route I will reposition Keep in mind we're still in concealment so might as well use that to our advantage We can repair ourselves, I think, without breaking concealment. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. The repair mod is actually pretty good. Three times. Uh, or two times. That's not bad. I like it. Um, Rolling out. Moving a bit closer. Understood. Moving out. Putting the sniper into high cover. Putting our grenadier very much in a position where he can lob a grenade. And yeah, we're pretty much ready to roll, even if they don't move. We're a bit shy on Overwatch, but the rest is okay. There's a Viper back here. Oh, two Vipers plus a Spectre. The protect the device missions aren't as easy as you would think. Many of them require you to actually move very fast. So we are going to cover um, to uncover this pack with a with a claymore plus a grenade. Claymore would deal eight. The grenade deals three. 
So two of out of uh, these uh, units will immediately die. We're still having enough explosives left over for the other packs. Got a grenade and got a rocket launcher. I just wanted to really make sure that that we uh, kill most of them. Yeah, we're not triggering the other pack. Yet another um, situation where Lightning Hand comes in extremely uh, helpful. Could have almost killed this guy. I think we have a stock here, right? Advanced stock. So that's two points of damage, which means... We're giving our aid protocol to the mech. And then we kill the priest. There we go. Even if we miss... Yeah, the stock kills it. Very well. Moving over here. And this should kill him. We're still concealed with a ranger. Moving as ordered. And one way to trigger the pack is to use long watch here. Unfortunately, we don't have that. We only have squad side and return fire. And I don't want to trigger the pack just um, uh, just this round with having no other. Um, no other uh, unit left over to move. By the way, I fucked up. I just realized that I fucked up. I We um, designed the spider suit and it was just done prior to this mission and I totally forget putting it on. But I remember that I've looked through all of their equipment choices so maybe we can't Maybe we couldn't put it on because um, because we haven't we haven't researched the upgraded um, the upgraded um, armor yet. Since we don't have predator armor, we can't use the spider suits. Moving in, let's trigger these guys. My main idea is. Well, my main tactic is to move as fast as possible. Overdriving. Before we do that though, let's move into full cover and remove their cover. I think this here should be fine. Yeah, we can't remove all of the cover at once. Which is a bummer, but I think this here is somewhat okay. I want to kill the Vipers first. Use the sniper. Which fortunately, missed. Sure 
We're most likely not getting the Spectre. It's standing behind uh, indestructible cover. Let's try to get the Viper nonetheless. Did not work out. Which kind of leaves us only with the option to mimic beacon and let them move out of cover. Again, the reason why I'm um, rushing in and am even willing to use a couple of a couple of uh, the cooldown abilities is really. We need to kill them as fast as possible. The device doesn't have too much hit points. That's usually why protect the device is a difficult, a rather difficult um, game type or map type rather. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. Immunity to um, to fire. Is a huge advantage here. Yeah, we're taking the gun instead. Okay, I think we can pretty safely kill the Viper. Yeah, it's going to be a kill. And we're not even being revealed. I'm on it. Nice little critical hit for 13. Oh, holy, we even get a hair trigger. That's like Christmas right there. Moving our sniper. Already there. Getting it done. Everyone double moves. The next target is going to be um, to kill the pack, like right next to our um, to our device. This body won't last forever. Damn, the mech fell down. Okay, let's let's see what we're dealing with. I don't mind about uh, the other unit. I really just want to make sure the the device is already halfway down. So that's very much the exact reason why we don't want to wait for too long. This here is mainly to get line of sight. Moving, to position. Moving in. Viper is going to be the first target. Very nice. To be honest, that should have been a hit in order to kill the Codex. I think the way it stands at the moment, we're just gonna let the Codex do his thing. These guys will add next round, which is fine. For now, we're going to be okay.
Kurik psionic bombs, which frankly was was to be expected. The other pack is here, so we need to be careful and not triggering it. On the move. Moving behind the Codex, and this might be even a kill. Nice little critical. Brings it down to 1 HP. Which again, we can move over here and finish it. Okay, that was not the best uh, move. <laughs> that was not the best move. Not at all. Well, shit. Auto reloading. Let's get the codex down. It's dead, as requested. Putting the aid protocol in. Putting an Overwatch in. Um, we. Need to get out of the psionic bomb. Otherwise, this is going to hurt. Like a lot. Moving behind the cover. And this here could be a nice flanking position. On Overwatch. Yeah, I figured that that might happen. But it's not the worst. Here's the deal though, since I specced into the healing tree with a stabilizing protocol, we can simply get uh, get our Reaper back up. Okay, lot and lots and lots of opportunities right here. Lots and lots and lots of opportunities. We're taking the high ground, although there is a big fat fire right next to it. Let's get the stabilization protocol in first. See, revive a protocol. Gets us right back into the game. Our mech could do a lot of things. Including hitting the Spectre. All these, um, or the shield bearer. Let's consider. I mean, the shield bearer is probably the largest single threat that we do have. Purifier could rather easily be dispatched. Spectre has used its 
uh, one core ability that made it strong. By killing it, we would kill two enemies though. Let's start getting the purifier. Shredded him, he lost his shields. And let's take the guys at the very back, like here. Seems doable. Okay, so that was a single kill. We could very well uh, use a flashbang grenade to get rid of these guys. Before we do so, let's try to massacre the spectre. Unfortunately, missed him. Shot wide. Which means this is probably the safest, uh, the safest play. It's gonna be bright. Spectre moved over here. to deal with the Spectre. Fire's getting worse here. All right, re-stealthing. Pretty sure the Spectre is here. Yeah, because I saw the disoriented sign. Going into overdrive. All right, let's go, baby. That's one down. Free reload. Ah, so close. There we go. Shield removed. And that might be it. That might be it. With the exception of actually falling down once, we played that flawless. So I guess once we do have the training grounds and the infirmary uh, going and the armor upgrade plus um, more economy, uh, economy i.e. more supply income, this year should be an easy uh, recoverable campaign. Reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. Yeah, we unfortunately did not get a promo promotion. That's all. Advanced hair trigger is good, and the rest, the rest is also not bad. Um, dark event, the collectors. 
I think that's okay. Uh, the collector dark event that we've countered it was a hidden dark event means if one chosen collects info intel, every uh, chosen gets it, and that's okay. Uh, that we've countered it. It's not the worst, but apparently the guy who um, who kind of uh, played this one here had a big problem. There is a nice opportunity for us here with the gathering mob supply rate. That'll that'll give us um, an extra supply rate mission. Um, and seeing that we're completely uh, de uh, deployed all of our alloys in the in the Alarium, that actually might be a pretty decent uh, start. Um, let me take a look. I mean, priorities first, right? So we got enough contacts, uh, making contact here would be only 80 intel. It's a bit a question of where do we invest our time the most. The double agent uh, perk is good because it makes uh, the mission so much more easy. Um, I like the idea of a supply rate um, just to get the finances going a bit more. But I also like the idea of actually making contact and um, given back the safe game with more than one opportunity to reduce the avatar project um, yeah I would say we're continuing with the radio relay and then make a decision whether or not we want the supply rate it would make the series longer again but it would make sure that the guy actually gets uh, act actually has a secured, really well, uh, re uh, well recovered game. Once the income reduced, that doesn't mean anything. Chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the resistance as they go. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our plan. Perfect. Look at that. He received his promotion. We got twelve ability points. That's even better. Um. And I mean, there are multiple things that we could do, uh, given that we have 10 more days until this month is over. I somewhat tend to recruit another Reaper, so he really has this other high-level soldier. I also enjoy the idea of six days. You know what? Maybe we can promote him again. Why exactly can't we put him onto this mission? Requires a soldier. Hmm. I mean, having the specialist promoted to lieutenant wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. Because that's our healing uh, specialist. But specialists usually uh, promote themselves uh, quite fast. Might want to use her. Another sniper at lieutenant rank. So he has dead eye and her. Difficult really. Um, the other option is to get the grenadier, uh, grenadier to sergeant rank. So he, we finally have a bit more high level grenadier. You know what? I think that's the best option here to be honest. Because we were lacking a good uh, grenadier. It's only six days, and this guy could uh, could very much use uh, the promotion. My followers will lead this action to victory. So here's our Templar. Uh, got the got a beautiful. A new set of um, ability points. Oh, nice. Look at that. The Templar is immune to fire, poison, a a acid, and explosive damage. Uh, yes, please. That's usually a psionic or psi operative only ability. Fortress is so strong. Like, if he would, uh, if any of these two here mm, would be Bladestorm, then this Templar is another hardcore unit. So we're going with overcharge 
and I'll keep the remaining points for now. Overcharge is pretty good because he generates focus faster and this unit by itself already is very very strong. Also the personal combat sim to give him more speed. Mobility 15 means he can almost traverse the whole combat field. Liking it, I'm liking it. Another soldier bond. There we go. A couple of soldiers finally got their bond made. We're reading you. On every mission, there is a chance uh, that an advent unit will join the XCOM squad. That's just a very, very strong uh, bonus. So now the question is, do we want to get uh, the extra supply rate mission? Or do we feel that making contact and doing this is actually more important? You know, that's a very difficult decision, to be honest. But I think we're going for the supply rate. Plotting new course. Supply rates have supplies, alarium and alloys in them, so they are usually really, really good if you can pull them off. Sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. There is the advent mech breakdown, which allows us finally to get not only Gremlins part, uh, uh, Mark II, it's very important for hacking, but also the blue screen protocol, which is probably the single best. Um, ammunition in the game. Rapid excavation. Improvements on our material handling will allow the next excavation to be completed instantly. Uh, we don't have a problem with excavating. Um, we are actually very fine. Uh, we do have lots and lots and lots of other problems. Chrysalid autopsy may be a thing. Um, for hazmat vests, you know what? We're going for data pad decryption. Um, we need more intel. And since there is a dark event which we haven't stopped, which was uh, the black market is going to close, let me shortly see what we can theoretically buy in the black market for intel, if there is anything that we really, really need. Um. Oh, that one is really good. And that one is really good. Damn. But we don't have enough intel. I mean, we'll get some intel now. So, might as well purchase the superior perception. But we can't afford any of the others. We're barely at the 80 intel mark. The superior perception is good because it'll allow some of our soldiers, specifically the sharpshooters, um, I think he has PCS perception, yeah, but the second sharpshooter doesn't have uh, perception at all, and with plus 15 aim, yeah, with plus 15 aim, that'll bring her over the 100 um, aim mark. Our next target will be to upgrade the armor so this here is by far the most important piece and upgrade a couple of the other weapons that's also necessary so we need a shit ton of supplies which we will get in the supply rate So, 62 intel from the data pad. That's good. I like it. Um, we could use another data pad. That's good. I mean, even more intel. Begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. 
There is the promotion that we were looking for. And I think we should take only a very short mission. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think the Reaper is probably the best option here. Giving a soldier plus 9 dodge makes the soldier more tanky. And. I'm thinking about who could use that the most. The reason why I'm struggling is whomever we put onto this mission, we won't have in the in the next mission. But in four days, this sharpshooter here will return to service. So we might put her onto this mission. Um, there's a moderate chance that she's being wounded, but that's okay. Um, getting the fact, uh, getting another faction soldier, he will uh, the um, the reaper will probably be at the rank of a lieutenant. So might as well use the option to get a high level soldier. Here's the promotion. We're going to go for suppression for him. Worked out very well. Uh, the next two tiers, lieutenant and captain, will be important for him. It's good to have a higher level grenadier with us. And the game just tells us, okay, the alien rulers are being placed in the missions. This ends the month, and I think uh, you can see that the month was reasonably successful. This setback here happened uh, because we beat her. She's now increasing her strengths. That is a problem because she gets new skills with it. Um, this here would be bad. This would, uh, we know that already. Both of these are actually bad, but we also don't know what the last one is. Mm. Enemy drops, ad drop additional loot items are good. I wouldn't know why you would not go for double ability points, though. I mean, the loot is okay, don't get me wrong. All resource rewards, uh, all resource rewards scanned from rumors are doubled. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Not the best setup. I see what he was trying to do. This here just doubles the, the rewards from uh, things on the on the map. That's okay. I should have known that that, that was running. This here effectively gives us 15% more income. Which I think we're going to sub in for now because he needs a lot of money. And this here looks good on paper. But what are we going to do next month? We're going to build radio towers. We're going to make new contacts. So actually we're not having so many resources that we're going to uh, do. Enemy drop an additional loot item. Yeah. It's cool. I like it. But double the ability points in combat is also not bad. Um, and since our training center will be done soon, that might be not a bad idea. I'll stick with the double uh, loot for now because we have a lot of ability points in our um, uh, leftover. But this here should be something that you get relatively soon. We'll do as we're told. Tactical mission site located. Avenger power is also not bad. There is the supply rate that we were looking for. 
Let's very shortly take a look what we could buy at the dark uh, at the black market before it's actually being closed down. There had been a new month, so they restocked. And they got another superior perception. They got a captain here. Oh my god, that's good. Ooh. Difficult to say no to a captain. We're going to give uh, get more into from the data pad. There are a couple of really nice PCSs. Superior speed and superior perception are very, very good. I think I'm going to go for the recruitment. And leave it at that point. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Okay, so I don't know how long the supply rate will actually last. But let's look at our new soldier first. Training center three more days. Highest rank so far. If you want to know the truth, very, very good to have uh, such a soldier. Um, let us modify him a bit Nice couple of hoods, I like it. Okay, so he certainly... Very nice. There's the spider suit. I actually forgot it the last time. The spider suit is helpful. So, we with him, we would have a really nice additional soldier. Taking Shredder, taking Suppression, actually taking Holo Target because we have problems with hitting stuff, and taking Chain Shot. So, need to get Heavy Ordnance and Volatile Mix a bit later. For now, more a gun focused um, Grenadier. Okay, and I think we need to go for the supply rate next, because otherwise it'll disappear. It has an interesting side trap on it. You can, you're can you only allowed to take sergeant units or above uh, or below, um, which is actually helping us because we don't have too many high level units yet. I'm going to prepare the team for this run and we're going to see each other in the next uh, episode of um, Saving Your Disastrous Campaign. See you soon guys. Bye bye.